good morning everyone in today's video i will be explaining to you about fuzzy set its operation and properties in previous video we have seen classical set its operation and properties okay now let's get started so in dictionary what do you mean by fuzzy the fuzzy is nothing but things which are not clear or noisy so we have uh, boolean logic where everything is precise all the all the information will be precise so it is we, we can easily uh, co come to a conclusion either it is true or false but in ca case of fuzzy set if the information is not clear or noisy then we cannot uh, come to a conclusion in that case we should go for a fuzzy logic so now we will discuss what is fuzzy set so fuzzy set can be represented in two ways the first way is for example i am taking an example here x is equal to all students in class x is a universal set okay and uh, x yes is a set is a fuzzy set which is represented by tilde symbol okay and this set contains all the good students okay so how will we represent this fuzzy set fuzzy set is represented by it's by a set of ordered pairs so the the curly braces i am mentioning that if x comma mu s of x mu is a membership membership represent measurement of goodness of student yes suppose i want to measure the goodness of each student then this membership value represent the the measure of degree of goodness of each student so s will be equal to x comma mu s of x where this x belongs to this universal set x so for example we can write here s will be equal to arun he is having a goodness 0.8 and akila is having 0.9 anita is having 0.5 so it can be etc we can write like this so this is one way of writing your fuzzy set so usually when you are writing your crisp set you will write only simply the elements alone like for example you will be writing 5 6 7 8 like this okay yes but it all belongs to the universal set but in case of fuzzy set we will not be writing like this we will be writing along with the the x value comma its membership value we will be writing this element and its membership value so it we can say that it is a collection of ordered pairs but here it is collection of elements the crisp set is a collection of elements but fuzzy set it is a collection of ordered pairs so this is one way of writing here we can write the membership value so always this membership value will be between 1 to 0 so arun is having a goodness value of 0.8 and akila is having 0.9 and anita is having 0.5 so all this thing it belongs to a fuzzy set called yes which tells the goodness of each student like this you can write or otherwise we can write it in the numerator denominator manner so here we are writing the membership value and down in the denominator we are writing that x value so membership value of x1 by x1 membership value of x2 by x2 membership value of x3 by x3 so we can write like this so arun is having a membership value of 0.8 nakila is having 0.9 nanita is having 0.5 so we can write it in this manner or otherwise we can use this fraction manner to represent your fuzziness okay let me explain this fuzzy set with one more example so this fuzzy set a contains a list of expensive cars so here i have represented this fuzzy set in two ways the first method is using this bracket so here i have given here the list of expensive cars are ferrari mercedes bmw and honda so i am giving the membership value for ferrari i am giving uh, from between 0 to 1 i am giving a value membership value called 0.9 and mercedes is given a value called 0.8 and bmw is given 0.7 and honda is given 0.4 so this is these are the expensive cars which i know so which i am giving the membership values i am uh, uh, keeping everything inside this particular set and this set can be called as a fuzzy set now another way another way of writing this fuzzy set is 0.9 by ferrari plus 0.8 by mercedes plus 0.7 by bmw plus 0.4 by honda so this is another way of writing it in fractional way so this both the sets represent a fuzzy set so either you can follow any way of writing your fuzzy set next comes the properties of fuzzy set so here in fuzzy set we have eight properties commutative property associativity distributivity then idempotency identity 
involution or double negation transitivity and de Morgan's law so these are all eight properties which we have in fuzzy set so commutative property we all know so when we take a union a union b will be equal to b union a and we can also uh, write it in intersection also a intersection b fuzzy set a intersection fuzzy set b will be equal to b intersection a so this for this property applies to fuzzy set then associative property that is a union b union c will be equal to when you uh, change the bracket a union b union c okay this also applies for the intersection also distributive property is a is distributive over b intersection c a union b intersection c is a union b intersection a union c and uh, a intersection b union c will be a intersection b union a intersection c okay this also applies next comes idempotency so when you take a union with the with the same set you will get the same set a and when you take intersection also you will get the same set identity property identity property says that when you take a fuzzy set union with empty set you will get a fuzzy set and when you take an intersection with the fuzzy with the empty set you will get empty set and when you are uh, taking an union with universal set you will get universal set when you are taking uh, intersection with universal set you will get your a set itself okay this is your identity property all this thing i have explained to you in classical set itself the same property holds good for fuzzy set also double negation is when you take a complement double complement you will get the same fuzzy set itself transitivity properties a apply a is a subset of b b is a subset of c then we can say a is a subset of c D Mockens law say A union B the old bar will be A bar intersection B bar and A intersection B the old bar is A bar in union B bar. So all this property holds good in fuzzy set. Okay. Only two properties which does not hold in fuzzy set. One is law of excluded middle and law of contradiction. As I have discussed in crisp set. So we have 10 properties. So in that I have mentioned you two properties called law of excluded middle. A union A bar is universal set. A intersection A bar is empty set. These two properties which does not hold for your fuzzy set. That's why we are having here only 8 properties. Okay comes the operations on fuzzy set so there are four operation union intersection complement and set difference union operation is so when you take a union between two fuzzy set so when you are taking a union between two fuzzy set that is usually we have to take the union with membership values only so membership value of a union b the of x will be you have to use maximum maximum of mu a of x comma mu b of x this is a formula for finding out the union between the two fuzzy set so maximum of membership value of x comma membership value of b okay for example i'm giving here a i'm having an x value i'm having membership value 0.5 then x2 i'm having membership value 0.1 and for the set b i'm having x1 0.2 and x2 0.3 so when i want to find out the union between two set a union b the answer will be x1 comma so here i have to find out the maximum value between this 0.5 and 0.2 so which is maximum over here 0.5 is maximum so x1 comma 0.5 comma 0.1 and 0.3 when you compare the maximum value among x2 is 0.3 so x2 comma 0.3 so you have to find out the maximum between the x values this is how you have to find out for your union is intersection coming to intersection so as in union we have find out the maximum but here we have to use minimum minimum of membership value of x comma membership value of b so when you want to find out intersection a intersection b then you have to use minimum minimum of membership value of x comma membership value of b let's take the same example here so what is a intersection b so a intersection b will be x1 comma the uh, among x1 0.2 is minimum over here so x1 comma 0.2 comma in x2 0.1 is minimum so we are getting the answer as x1 comma 0.2 comma x2 comma 0.1 okay this one is complement 
Coming to the complement, it is mu a bar of x will be 1 minus mu a of x. So, when you want to find out a complement of any fuzzy set, it is nothing but you have to use 1 minus mu a of x. So, the answer for this, when you want to find out for the same example, a bar, a bar, they have given x1, 0.5 and x2, 0.1. So, what is complement of this particular set? So, you have to subtract 1 with all the values. So, 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5, 1 minus 0.5 one is 0.9 so the answer will be x1 comma 0.5 comma x2 comma 0.9 some more operations also holds good in fuzzy set which is not there in your crisp set the first one is algebraic sum that is represented by the symbol plus a plus b a fuzzy set plus b fuzzy set that will be membership value of a plus b of x will be mu a of x plus mu b of x minus mu a of x dot mu b of x so this is the formula for finding out algebraic sum so algebraic product is simple it is a mu membership value of x membership value of a dot membership value of b will give you the algebraic product between the two fuzzy sets bounded sum bounded sum is represented by the symbol plus then square then round symbol that is membership value of a bounded sum with b of x will be minimum of 1 comma mu a of x plus mu b of x so this is a formula for finding out bounded sum coming to bounded difference it is dot so mu a of dot minus b of x will be maximum of 0 comma mu a of x minus mu b of x so there is small difference between bounded sum and bounded difference here we are we are using minimum here here we are using maximum and here we are comparing with 1 and here we are comparing with 0 that's all you have the difference between bounded sum and bounded difference i'll explain to you uh, with examples then you will clearly understood how this ex how this particular formula has been used in problems okay so in this video i have explained to you about fuzzy set and how to represent the fuzzy set okay with the help of membership function and i have also explained to you on uh, uh, properties and operations of fuzzy set thank you all